let's talk about signatures and uh, how to add send from my iPhone signature, how to remove it and how to manage it on your iPhone. Let's begin. So naturally it depends on which mail client you use because it cannot be the same thing for every one of them. Like you may use the stock blue mail icon on your iPhone or you may download some sort of other thing like Yahoo Mail, a Gmail is probably the most common or pretty much anything else and different things apply to different apps. But let's start with the mail app, the one that we all have stock on our iPhones. So in this case, by default, you have the phrase sent from my iPhone as a default signature, which uh, is there no matter what. So in order to remove it, you go to the settings, to the general settings icon and scroll down to find mail. And then at the bottom of the page, the last thing is the signature. So you tap on it. And here you have the option to edit or delete altogether the entire signature so nothing is going to be sent after your actual text in, a, in an email. No signature will be added if you delete it. There are even some articles about it on some clever iPhone slash iPad signatures that people use instead of the, the regular sent from my iPhone. So there are definitely some inspirations that you can find online in regards to this. So yeah, this was the regular stock uh, mail app, but people use some other things, for example. But before we continue with the video, I just want to quickly interrupt to let you know that if you're new on this channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribed because it does help you because every time there is an interesting video, potentially something that you may like, then it's going to show up on your YouTube page. So you have the option to click on it and view it if it's if it sparks interest in you. Anyways, let's continue with the video. And the other app I wanted to talk about is the Gmail. So you can also do that and set it up on the desktop version, but on the phone version as well. So you open up email, uh, the Gmail actual icon and click on the three dots to access like the bigger menu and scroll to the bottom to, to tap on settings. Then you click on your name as an account settings and there you should be able to find the signature settings. It's somewhere more like closer to the top of the page. So you click on it and you can disable it or enable it and you can also edit what appears uh, right there and what the signature actually is. The whole thing is uh, the mobile signature which only applies to when you're sending emails from the iPhone. So if you just log in using your Gmail on uh, the computer, this may not be the case everywhere because you only set it up here. But you can also disable it. And the nice thing about it is that if you turn it off and turn it back on, it also remembers the thing. So uh, it just depends on how you want to use it. In my case, it's just best regards and my name, but you can choose whatever there to be. I mean, it's not really that important. I recently also made a video about signatures on iPhones, but I covered and talked about the, the Notes app in which you can add some sort of signature to a note and if you scan a document and you want to sign it. Uh, so if this is also something that you would be interested in, the link to that video should be down below in the description. So go ahead and check it out if you want to. But okay, I do not think that I need to make and stretch the video any longer. So yeah, also another reason for you to subscribe because I don't drag out the, the videos just for uh, the views. Anyways, if you like the video and there is anything that you would like to say, let me know down below in uh, the comments. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in uh, the future uploads and uh, the future videos. See you guys.